Hi folks, Rich Bassini from RJBassini.com coming to you today with an intro. I picked up this new HP and the model number is KBAH21. It's a slim, it's a slim uh, keyboard. Its color is white of course. It has, uh, it doesn't have any adjustable legs on here to raise the level up on it so it's pretty much fixed. That's what it would be like. You can see the uh, profile of it. It's very slim, sleek, very light. It's roughly about, I believe it's like 12 to 13 ounces without packaging, of course. Um, this, this item does not come with its original packaging or documentation with it, okay? But it is new. Um, it still has the plastic up here. Uh, here, I had to take it off earlier to take pictures. You can see it's still on there. So this is a new keyboard. It was tested and works fine. The only thing I noticed on here, on this keyboard, the only key that lights up when I tested it was the caps lock. That's the only thing that locked up on here. Okay, so that's what we got going on over here. And the other thing I just want to go with, it is, and it is USB, so if your computer is equipped with a USB connector, you should be good to go. The other thing I just want to go with you with really quick is, if you guys have come across, uh, you know, a desktop, you know, a desktop, a keyboard, or... Uh, a mouse that both have two uh, USB PS2 connectors on it. You might want to invest money and get one of these here. It's a USB to PS2 connector cord uh, cable here, and it works really good. I use this here to test out my keyboards and my mouses when I pick them up from the thrift stores or yard sales, or whatever garage sales. It's a very handy little cable to have. It's inexpensive. I picked it up at my local uh, store uh, over here where I live, the Micro Center. It was around roughly ten dollars for it. But it's nice to have it if you need to test like I do. I test out keyboards. Uh, not in this case here. This is USB. So my computer is affixed with the USB port on it. But if you come across, I have come across many a times, keyboards that have PS2 connectors on it and mouses that have PS2 connectors. And this little cable comes in really handy. So you might want to pick one of these up here if you're in the area. Just keep it for yourself if you do testing on keyboards or whatever. But it's very good cable to have and very inexpensive. Um, this is what well, basic I could tell you about this keyboard. It's pretty clean. It's very, you know, it's very slim, sleek and slim, as you can see. And um, that's all I could tell you about it. Uh, I, the only reason why I'm doing the video is just to give you a little heads up on it. It's going to be posted on eBay. And if you are interested in it, uh, check it out. I'll be up there this evening. So thanks again for stopping by. And you have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks again. Bye now.